Hello, hello! Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to someone who goes by Chris Carbine 6J. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into something that is so common. Yes, so we can call this a red flag as well. We all had to outgrow this though. Stop and think about it for a second. When the narcissistic abuser, they like to speak for others because of their demon of assumption. And I've got an example, a good one for you all here. Because they, they will do that. Now, we, as we were growing up and learning, and I have had to be, God had to step in and remind me of that as well. Yes, you all. So, just so you know, this oh, it's a learning curve. Although we, God chosen, didn't do that like a narcissistic abuser does. That's right, there's a difference. But we oftentimes didn't realize, you know, until we became aware of the fact. For example, like, if we ask a person, do you think so-and-so would mind? And then they remind us, well, I can't speak for them, but I don't mind. So it reminds us, wait a minute, I need to go and ask that other person directly. And I'm talking about little lessons like that that we learn. But narcissistic abusers do it differently. They will speak uh -huh, for other people. Because remember, they assume that everyone is just like they are. That's what, that's what gets them in trouble. <laughs> Big time right there. <laughs> I kid you not. But let's go ahead and cover, I want to cover some scripture for you all. For anybody who needs this word today. Because if you are wondering, okay, now, you know, it, 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 I wouldn't necessarily say how to do with like the, you know, haters or whatever per se. But just know that in Proverbs 29, we're going to cover 29, 10 through 12 right quick for you all. Remember, the bloodthirsty, the narcissistic abuser, the bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. A fool uttereth all his mind. We all had to learn not to do that. <laughs> That's right, we all had to learn not to do that. A fool uttereth all his mind. But a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards, moving in silence. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. Think about that for a second. Let's say the you know the narcissistic abuser is has hearkened to lies, so all his flying monkeys are also wicked. That's a great way to put that in perspective when it when it comes to narcissistic abusers and their flying monkeys. You see, God gives us scripture to meditate on for that reason, so that not uh, we're not putting words in God's mouth. We know what God actually said, but we take that and apply it to our circumstance. Because again, God telling us all about. Our lives throughout scripture. That's the beauty behind it. But narcissistic abusers. Love to speak for other people. Well again. A fool uttereth all his mind. Right? There you go. Well this is because they have that demon of assumption. Like I said in the very beginning. And it's also because they want control. Yes. Bottom line right there. So, it's all because, you know, they got to feed their ego. They got to constantly stroke their ego. They, they don't know any other way. They're, they, it's so crazy, too, because there is another way. The right way. With God. There is. But they don't, they don't want that. They, they, want, they like their demon spirits. Like I've said before. Oh, I kid you not. Alright, but here's your, a good example. And y'all, let's, you know, you, go ahead and share some of your examples also for others to learn from down there in the comments. Yes, when uh, the narcissistic abuser would speak for other people. We have another fellow warrior who had this happen to him where the, the narcissistic abuser, well, yeah, dear, after, you know, with the discarding phase, basically told him not, you know, that, that other people in their circle, in the narcissistic abuser's circle, told the warrior that 
those other people they're telling him control ordering telling him don't contact them because they speaking for them they don't want to hear from him from the warrior so that's how the narcissistic abusers try to speak for others and they really have no right to do that okay but here's another one all right uh-huh yep 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 one case study and i remember when I was prepared, you know, this is that, yes, the, the ex-psychopath roommate. Again, you all, that story is in Real Events of Narcissistic Abuse. All the links down in the video description below where you can find your copies to that in the Amazon author page or off the website. The PDF digital download is an easy to read format. There's a lot of people that like that because it comes out, you know, that cover and then it goes right in and it flows. So it's nice and organized. And if you don't have PDF capability on the PC, I've got the link right there uh, in the uh, product and uh, des description. I've got the link where you can download that. It's free. The Adobe Reader so that you can open the PDF file. Now our smartphone, our smart devices, so to speak, they have uh, PDF capabilities already. So, and even if, even if they didn't, there's always an app for that. <laughs> right? Okay. So, the ex-psychopath roommate, what he did, I was preparing dinner. You know, the, the family was coming down for vacation <clears throat> to the house. And so, I was, you know, making a grocery list and, you know, meal planning, so to speak, and, and all that. You know, that normal stuff. Because, after all, I was the live-in maid. So, it was part of my duty. And so, what he did, because I was asking him, well, did, do you know if so-and-so likes a certain food, or this food, or that food? So, what did the ex-psychopath roommate do? Yeah, flat out assumed and said, nah, so-and-so wouldn't eat that squash. And it, I think it was spaghetti squash, in, in particular. And he was trying to tell me that... So and so, uh, uh, one of the family members doesn't like uh, that kind of squash, and he won't eat it. No, nah, he doesn't like that. He's not going to eat it. So what I did, I went, okay, that was that was weird, but you know, I mean, it's either you, you know, because I don't know something in me. When that family member arrived, I brought the topic of spaghetti squash up, and lo and behold, not just that family member, but the other one. Both of them piped up and said, oh, yeah, we love to put spaghetti sauce on spaghetti squash. And so the psychopath ex-roommate was sitting. Oh, I remember his face got so red and his tone was really low. He goes, well, I didn't know you liked spaghetti squash. And it was funny because I was like, gotcha. Yep, see, that's what happens. It backfires when they speak for other people. And so what they do is they end up causing themselves embarrassment. It's like they did a self-embarrassment because they spoke. Mm -hmm. Now, see, we all had to out. We all, a lot of us did this when we were little. Okay, just remember that. And we didn't do it all the time or whatever, but we had to learn and grow and everything else. But the narcissistic abusers, they don't learn. It's like, remember, they are emotionally stunted in their childhood. They don't learn from their mistakes. So they continue to do that. And then it's always going to slap him in the face. And no, I did not intentionally think to be doing that. But I was curious. Because I had already, you know, remember, he was a case study. So I already knew he was lying about uh, everything, pretty much. About his past and stuff like that. And so I had to learn to dismiss everything he had told me for the years prior. And I had to lear unlearn all of that as I was studying the behavioral characteristics. And so I knew, I was like, you know what, i got to test this because, and I'm not testing him, I wanted to test my theory that he was lying about that. And sure enough, he was. So that's the other thing, when they speak for others like that, they're lying. And what does God say about that? Lying lips, uh-huh, that's right. When you know, they continue to lie, that uh-huh, so... There you go. And that's a big part of it. And not only that, it's because they, in their mind, they want to tell themselves that, well, after all, they, they think they know everything. 
That's the narcissistic trait right there. They think they know everything. And so they like to assume. And so a lot of time, don't forget too, that when they do that, when they're speaking for others, for example, like the one I just shared about the fellow warrior, basically what that narc was doing by telling him not to contact anybody because they didn't, no, no, what, what, what that narc was saying was that she does not want the warrior contacting her. So instead, what she did speaking for others, deflected it, projected it onto other people, blame-shifting at the same time, and ex making an excuse for why she herself doesn't want that, you know, do doesn't want the warrior contacting her. So it's br bring her flying monkey circle into the whole, into the equation when it doesn't belong there. But that's how they do it. So let's share some more examples, everybody, because I know that there's a lot more out there, you know, speaking for how they speak for other people, and it's based off that demon of assumption. And again, remember, that's what happened to the ex room, the ex psychopath roommate. He, he, <laughs> uh, he embarrassed himself by making that assumption. So we always learn, yes, we know what that does. It's like, no, we can't be doing that. So we, as we mature and we grow and we evolve as we're supposed to, we learn. If we've got a contact, email, phone number, whatever, to a person, let's say, for example, what I was asking about was would that person mind a shout out in one of the videos? And so I, I was like, never mind. I can, yeah, I can ask them directly. So that's what I'm talking about, how we learn. And we go, okay, you know, contact the, you know, it, you remember the saying, you know, go get it straight from the quote-unquote horse's mouth. Okay, there you go. And I remember there's another fellow warrior who put this out, and it's spot on about their story with the abuse. And because a lot of times, some people, they won't, they won't come to us. for the, They won't come to us for, the, for hours truth. Okay, they won't come to us to hear the truth. They will go and start asking others, like the abuser and the abuser's flying monkeys, instead. They will ask them what happened. And that's how, that's how a lot of people get tricked into believing the lies of the abuser and the flying monkey. So that's why we always advise if anyone has questions about what happened in that situation... The go direct, come directly to us, right? Go directly to the survivor. Ask the survivor. The survivor is going to tell you the truth. A true survivor, that is. A real survivor. And yes, you can tell the difference. So, as always, yes, 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 discernment. You can tell the difference. A real survivor is going to tell you the truth. That's why you've got it, we've got it out there that when you come across a real survivor, you best believe them. Because if you don't, then... You're gonna end up, yeah, falling prey, and and yeah, we don't we don't want to see that happen. No, 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 no. We don't want to see that happen to y'all. So just keep that in mind. Always ask the, the survivor. Once you can identify they are a real survivor, always ask them. You know, and you know what? If they don't want to talk about it, that's okay too. Give them time. There's my tip for anybody who is in the industry for helping other survivors. We got to let, we got to be patient. Let them open up when they're ready. All right? It's all about, that, okay, because they got to go through some self-regulating processes first before they're ready to come to us. So we always got to keep that in mind too. We don't, don't we, we always say don't rush the healing process. We're not going to do that either. No, 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 no. Because God will hasten that on his time as always. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father and you. Keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.